It wasn't groundbreaking, but Hangouts faced some ambitious goals. The messaging app is actually a social network function that managed to grow into the self-sustaining independent app called upon to replace Google Talk and Google Plus Chats. Let's take a look at how far Hangouts has managed to come over the years. The application is free and therefore has a large number of supporters. Let's also not forget the status of the developer company. Hence all the mystery around the app's actual number of users. Hangouts group chats let you talk to up to 10 people at a time. Moreover, you can do it in video mode, which puts Google's product in a much better place compared to Skype. These chats also have a unique function. You can see exactly how much of the chat correspondence has been read by each user. Very handy when trying to avoid misunderstandings. It's a cross-platform. You can access Hangouts via a browser or a mobile app for iOS. OS, Android, plus you can log on via a separate Chrome app. Since Hangouts supports synchronization, chat correspondence is available on all devices. It supports video calls that we mentioned earlier, but what is more fascinating, you can broadcast directly via YouTube. This is quite a compelling argument and an extremely important competitive advantage. This is probably why Hangouts is a celebrity favorite, with people like David Beckham, Barack Obama, and Pope Francis turning to the app to communicate and even organize global video conferences. The photos that you receive and send while chatting can be automatically uploaded to Google Plus private albums. Google Voice is a voice communication tool available exclusively on Hangouts. Sharing your location is a standard function for all texting apps, as well as the presence of sticker packs. In addition, you have the possibility to make all kinds of calls, send SMS, MMS, photo, video, and even GIF messages. Users complained about the absence of the online status display. Google developers heard them loud and clear and came out with an immediate response resolving the issue. This showed us just how much the users mean to the company. Google feels free making deep-seated design changes to its products now and then to match the modern trends, as was the case with material design in regard to all products. Hangouts also didn't stay on the sidelines and now has a pretty in look. Now let's analyze Hangouts in terms of flaws. Electronic Frontier Foundation disapproved the messaging app for below-par privacy standards and its at times disloyal attitude towards user data. You can't remove a specific user from a group chat in Hangouts. You'll have to delete the chat and create it again from scratch. The aforementioned synchronization function is a plus, but chat data privacy that is stored with Google isn't really observed with no proper guarantee for secure communication. That's a wrap. Communicate in real life. Communicate online. Take care.